Welcome to the Digital How To series. Today I'm going to explain heading tags. So let's use this example here. So this is um, algorithm.agency and we have a page here called Conversion Rate Optimization. So if I look at the page title here, which was covered in another How To series, we can see the page title is Conversion Rate Optimization and then the pipe separator algorithm so they know who the brand is and then the page URL also has that same text in its URL description or URL conversion rate optimization so those are two of the best practices for SEO ticked however it isn't just about titles and meta descriptions as we explained in an earlier how-to episode the principle of um, targeting keywords for optimization in the Google search results actually then cascades down into what we call heading tags. So you'll see here we have a, another mention of the word conversion rate optimization, but the key thing here is that it's a heading, which is a good signal for Google to know that this page is definitely about that topic. So if I was to give you an example, um, Google has um, a way of reading different levels of headers. So what's called H1, H2, H3. H1 being more of a priority than heading 2. H3 would be um, less of a, a priority than H1 and H2. So you get the idea. It's a descending order of um, headings that Google can use as an indicator of what the page is all about. So if I was going for conversion rate optimization, you'll see here, in HTML terms, it would look something like this. So open H1, conversion rate optimization, close H1. So that's what it looks like in HTML. As mentioned before, most content management systems actually have a very e user-friendly way of you literally just highlighting what heading you want it to be. And then you can just use a drop down to say this is a heading one, this is a heading two, etc. So in this case, we've already said conversion rate optimization. So maybe we want to then mix things up a bit and say conversion rate uh, optimization explained. Because then you've got the primary phrase in, but then you're expanding on the topic to make it very clear what this page is about. An important thing here, though, is to make sure that the headings actually make sense to the user. It wouldn't really be an example then to go to um, H3. And then if you were to say conversion rate optimization again, I'm not going to type the whole thing. You get the idea. It'd start to look quite confusing because all of the headers would look um, principally the same. A, Google doesn't like that, but B, users wouldn't like that. And that's why it's important to make sure that they make from a uh, make sense from a human user experience point of view as much as you consider SEO and relevance when choosing your headings and secondary headings. And that is heading tags explained.